history turns its most ominous page far out in mid-Pacific, where in the enemy talk at all, the world's most awesome weapon is readied for detonation. The pictures you are about to see have been released by the Department of Defense under presidential order. Here on Ilertulab Island, the cab or housing for the first hydrogen bomb takes shape after months of preparation. In this building, the cataclysmic force of the H-bomb will be released. Working as a task force team, the Army, Navy, and Air Force work against time to prepare the installations for M-Hour under the supervision of scientists who have labored for years to develop the thermonuclear weapon. Ilertulab, the shot island is almost ready for the sacrifice. With final preparations almost complete, jeeps with workers leave the island, which is connected with two others by a plywood tube. Filled with helium, it houses the hundreds of instruments which will record the explosion data, which is the prime objective of the test. On board the Estes, flagship of the task force, officers go over final details around a chart of the affected atoll, which spans a distance of 25 miles. Here is the very heart and nerve center of Operation Ivy, as the thermonuclear test is known. Under the direction of General Clarkson, Task Force Commander, M. Hour approaches with terrifying rapidity. Do not remove goggles or face first until 10 seconds after the first light. three miles across as it shatters both land and sea. The shockwave races 35 miles and reaches the control ship with force enough to jar the solidly mounted camera. In seconds, the fireball erupts into a geyser that towers 25 miles into the stratosphere, spreading into a 100-mile wide mushroom cloud. Rising with the cloud are millions of cubic feet of radioactive ash, a virulent byproduct of the fusion bomb that will shower down over the area in approximately one hour. Helicopters have a narrow margin of safety to fit across the blast zone and report back. Still unknown is the effect of the explosion on the atoll. Two six approaching ground zero. Coming up on Bogon. The detection station on Bogon appears to be in good shape. No visible sign of plywood too. All test items seem to be swept clean. Huge lab is completely gone. Nothing there but water and what appears to be a deep crater. Water With its force measured in megatons, equivalent to millions of tons of TNT, the power of the thermonuclear bomb is almost inconceivable, except in direct comparison with the familiar. Here again is the firing of the first relatively small H-bomb. Again we are in the control room. Again the emotionless count tolls the seconds to time zero of the second era, the thermonuclear era of the atomic age. Again the fireball. Now for dramatic effect, we superimpose it on the skyline of New York. The heart of the metropolis would be instantaneously transformed into an inferno, while shock and heat waves devastated the rest of the city. Currently, scientists see no limit on the potential power of the fusion bomb, which places an unthinkably destructive weapon in the hands of mankind. Atomic attack in today's world could not be warded off, and such an attack would spell cataclysm. As never before, man holds the seeds of his own doom. Humanity stands at a grim crossroad in the age of the atom.